everybody um i just wanted to come on and um make a video and just kind of let the holy spirit flow um You know, um, so one thing while I was, so, and I believed I like, but I'm like, it's so crazy. Like I'm trying not to like jumble around because I'm just trying to get a feel. But first, that's probably why I got to pray before every video. Excuse me. Um. Heavenly Father, I come before you and I just give you all the glory, all the thanks and all the praise, all of the honor, God. And God, I just pray that you would speak to your people through me and that you would just give me revelation as I'm doing this video and no distractions, no interruptions. And I plead the blood of Jesus over my phone and the connection and my children and and my blessings in Jesus' name. And I thank you, God, for everything that you're doing for me. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for giving me your Holy Spirit that lives in me in Jesus' name. Okay, so like the last video I made, like, like you know, I was... I, I, but I was very hopeful for a new beginning. And I still believe that this was all led by the Holy Spirit, you know. Um, I kind of, like, made a detour into a different area, like, than what I was supposed to go into. And I don't know if it's the right choice. And I don't know if, like, God's like, no, you just need to like, keep going to where I told you to go because I made plans for you there. I don't know. You know, and I, I wish that, you know, because, I don't know, it's just so crazy. But I'm trying not to get down on myself. I'm just trying to, like, like, I don't know. I just have, like, this, like, this want and this need to be, like, you know, like, I just want to be done, like, with, like, the evil in my life. Like, totally done. I don't want, like, you know, the evil thoughts, the feelings, the confusion, the witchcraft, all this stuff. I don't want it no more. And I understand, like, it's a whole part of the walk of, of following Jesus, you know? Like, so I was talking to a man earlier. And it was a guy I met, whatever and we were kind of talking about how, like, uh, what is it called? How, let me see. How, like, uh, hold on. Like, how, what was it that we were talking about? Oh, like, how, like, we feel like times have gotten, like, even harder. Like, you know, you try to do good, but it's just, like, so hard to, like, you know, like, whatever. And... I had told him, I was like, you know what? I said, you're right about that because I said, okay, I said, I said, I used to be a drug addict and I got free. The Lord like set me free from it. And I said, I used to think that people treated me bad because like, um, because what am I trying to say? Oh, because I was on drugs. I felt like I'm on drugs. I'm sinning. And I think that's that whole legal what is it legalism spirit that spirit of legalism uh, you know and like thinking that your works like have to please and i believe that's how you fall under that curse is because you believe that your works are gonna save you that's that's what it is and that's the way i thought i was like i was it had that spirit of legalism i was like you know what i'm sinning I was like, I'm doing wrong, I'm sinning, I'm like, you know, I'm doing bad, I deserve to be treated like X, Y, and Z, whatever. But that is completely, like, the opposite, it's wrong to think like that. And so, <clears throat> so after I got off drugs, and like, now that it's, like, it's still the same, like, nothing has changed, like, you know, and so now I'm like, okay, like, I believe God is telling me this, showing me this, because... 
like it has it has nothing to do with me and it's 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 about like the the good and bad the spiritual warfare side of things side of life you know it's like it's who who are they serving who are you bowing down to like you know some people bow down to like demons unknowingly you know but uh, other people bow down to the devil knowingly like they know they're doing his work they know like who they're working for they know you know but on this side like you know being a christian you know and that's why i gotta stop going back and forth in my mind like when things don't go wrong whenever like it's like whenever i don't get my instant gratification you know i mean but like i fall into like that like that discouragement where like i'm like like okay god didn't come through for me okay like yeah okay like that's nothing new or you know like something like that something to that effect like you know like oh like you know like oh okay yeah you know should i, I oh you know just you know totally negative but hey. but on the other end it's like you know if i would have got it that instant gratification you know and i don't know what god is trying to say or whatever gosh my whole like thought process is like ugh. And I know I need to fast, and I'm, like, I struggle to fast, and I don't even know why. It's just so crazy because, like, all the signs are there for me to fast, you know? It's, like, everything, every, there's, all the way around, it's, like, you need to fast. You need to fast. You need to pray. You need to pray about this. You need to do this, 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 you know? On top of what, like, what I'm going through now, like, like, yeah, you know, like, I mean, I keep beating myself up about this because I just, like, want to stay strong for my kids. But at the end of the day, I just keep looking back, like, like, did we make the right choice leaving our apartment, you know, like, to come on the road? You know, it's like, you know, did I, you know, like, but God, he kept telling me, no, babe, I don't. <laughs> Thank you. Sit down. He kept telling me, like, um. He kept telling me, like, these little, like, these little things throughout, like, this, like, this little thing. Like, the first couple things was, like, okay, like, the city that you're in, you're not really going to be there for a long period of time. Just, like, be prepared to go, like, that, like, that type of stuff. So, I kept feeling in my spirit, like, like, should I wash up my clothes? Should I pack up things? Should I, like, sort out what I'm going to take and what I'm not going to take, you know? And I kind of was, like, I was kind of, like... Like, I would get this notion, like, hmm, I should go through all me and the kids and stuff, sort everything out and weed out what I don't, like, what I absolutely don't want, what I absolutely don't need, like that. And I donated all a lot of it, <clears throat> you know, it's not like I had a whole, like, a whole wardrobe or anything, whatever. But I keep, and my flesh just, like, misses that comfort of that apartment. You know, like, I had a bed, I had a couch, I had a table, I had a kitchen table, you know, I had a bathroom. I had, you know, just, like, a whole lot of comfort, you know. And and coming from that to this, I'm like, oh, I just want to go back. I just want to go back. But then, there, but then in order for God to keep me, like, grounded, he had to show me confirmations. And my, if I could tell this Holy Spirit. So how he was telling me this was, oh, it's okay. You want it? How he was confirming this, first of all, he's like, he's like, start planning. And then whenever I was going through intense warfare, like with my kids and at our apartment and everything, just kind of everybody, you know, all these things, like all these signs were just like, it was crazy. And I would just cry and I would just like blame God. I, I'm, and I'm not, I'm going to be transparent because like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I just. It was a breeze, whatever. No, it was not. It was so hard. It was so difficult to get through. It was like, like I made that video crying. I couldn't, I was at my wit's end. I didn't know what to do. And, but the Lord kept telling me, he kept, he said, you need to start paying attention to like, like, why are you feeling like this? You know what I mean? Like, what if it's led by the spirit? You know, I mean, it's not like he's going to cause chaos and misery, but if he's telling you something, then it's probably like, you know. No, no. You want to get out? Anyway, so I'm going to put this up.
So, <clears throat> I know this might look crazy, but I got to do what I got to do. And a lot of times, these videos, they don't come out the way, like, nothing is perfect, nobody is perfect, and, you know, if, if you, like, I, I think, like, God had to deal with me about that, because, like, I, <laughs> and it's so crazy, because, like, if you have a perfectionism problem, I, I heard Joyce Meyer say this, and I, I'm, like, I, like, I like the fact that she said this, because it just, like, it would make sense to me if you know anyway so it says if you have a perfectionism problem the lord will give you ki children and i was like that is so true that is so true like so before i got my kids back through the court system whatever like i would always say like i i loved my bathroom i was like oh my gosh my bathroom's like my little sanctuary you know like i would go in there and like write notes and pray and you know, exercise, and, like, you know, it was kind of, like, a big bathroom, and, you know, it was kind of, like, my little, like, you know, just little, you know, me time, whatever, but as soon as my kids came back, it was, like, you know, like, nothing was cute about it, it was, <laughs> it was trash, or whatever, but, I, but, I mean, I'd rather have that than have them not with me, you know, but, anyway, I'm getting way off track here, what am I trying to say, Holy Spirit, speak through me, Okay, so how he was confirming this this move was through yellow birds. So he told me before we left the apartment. Well, it was like a day before we left the apartment. He's like, okay. He's like, I will confirm the move to you through like a yellow a yellow bird. And as we were leaving out, like we got on the outskirts of the town, like into like the country part. There was like a yellow bellied bird. There was a yellow bellied bird and I was like, I was like, I told my daughter, I was like, there's a yellow bird. And, you know, I said, that's how I know this is God. And so, and not just that, there's a big bird. Anyway, so there's, what is it? Um, So it, it was every, every state that we would hit. I'm not going to say every state. I So this yellow bird that we've been seeing, it has like a yellow body and black wings. And so um, I should look it up and see like, you know, if there's any kind of significance of it. But anyway, so, uh, so, um, what's it called? So, but we've seen, like, four birds, four of them yellow birds, like, since we've been on this trip. And that's how I know it's the, the Lord, you know, he keeps grounding me in. And he, but, and then, like, here in this city that we landed in, like, I can't get no help. Like, you know, people been helping me with, like, gas money here and there. Like, me and my kids, like, we find places to park. And, like, you know, we'll, like, I, I've been clean. I'll clean out the van. We'll go find a place to park. And then... No, no, no. You're not going to do that on my video. Come on. Like, we'll, you know, um, we're at a park right now. And... Yeah, so, like, if you guys feel led to so, like, this is, this is one thing I realized about YouTube is that, like, I don't know, like, it, it's just, like, and I'm, I'm, like, that type, I just, like, I want to know things, you know, like, I just want to know, like, like, why, like, why do people, like, reject me, why do they, you know, but maybe it's that ple people-pleasing spirit that just wants to be liked by everybody, and, you know, I don't know, but it's not even that I want to be liked, it's like, I need help, um, and they're telling me to come to you guys, your phone numbers on this thing, you know, and then it's just like, oh, no, 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 you know, and it's like, damn, I have, like, five kids, and, the uh, like, one's a baby, you know, like, it's really hard out here, you know, and I just, it, I don't know, like, it just does something to me, like, and I know that this is the Holy Spirit, I know that these, like, the, these feelings, and these thoughts, and all these emotions that I have are from the Lord, because, because, like, I don't know, like, he's calling everybody to a deeper level of care, of compassion, of passion for other people, you know? Like, COVID, look at how far apart COVID brought us apart from each other, you know? Like, nobody wanted to be by anybody that coughed or sneezed or, you know, oh, keep your distance six feet apart, you know, like, whatever. We were put on this earth 
to like love each other, to be, you know, brothers and sisters in Christ, to pray for one another, to uplift each other and to like help each other's situations. You know what I mean? And I know, I know that like for me, like always feeling this way towards people and like whatever, it's not that I hate them. It's that I look at the principle of things. I look at the, like the deeper, like, you know, like, like you look at the heart, like, you know, and, but it's like, where's the help at? You know what I mean? Like where, like, you know, like it's not set up like, and I noticed this, I noticed this probably everywhere I go, like, anyway, I'm not going to get on that. I'm not going to do that. No, but it's the, it's like the, the, the treatment of people, you know, like, and, and like, I don't know, like, it's crazy because, like, I don't even feel like I dress good. I'm not, I'm just going to say that. Like, I don't feel like I dress good. I don't feel, I feel like I like the clothes that I have. Like, you know, of course I pick out clothes that I like and stuff. But overall, like, I feel like people just, I don't know, like, it's discrimination, low-key discrimination or something. I don't know. And I understand, like, I got, like, you know, that some spiritual stuff going on. But we all do, you know. And, but for me, like, Whenever I get put in position, like, I want I want God to know that he could trust me. I want God to know, like, whoever you lead me to, Lord, whatever you need me to do, whatever, however you want me to help them with whatever you need me to help them with, I got you, God. Like, you know what I mean? That's the type of person that I want to be like. You know what I mean? Like, you know how, like, a drug dealer will give, like, somebody a bunch of drugs and be like, okay, I'm trusting you. Like, this is, like, God doing that for me, but without the drugs. And I should never even use that as a reference. But I don't even know why that came to my my mind. But that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, like, give me some something, and I want to I wanna, I wanna help you do whatever you want me to do with it, you know? I want to help you. I want to help God bring his goodness into this earth and for whoever, whatever, you know? No discrimination, you know? God didn't discriminate against me whenever it came to helping me or saving me or rescuing me you know and and I know it's gonna be hard I know it's gonna be a battle you know but I know that this this is what he wants so I can't wait to get into into position to you know first of all receive and but to like get help and help people you know and I I honestly keep on thinking I'm like five kids like in in the in the same sense I keep on thinking about like um like marriage like who is and this is I know this is the devil's lies and you know stop I know that like the devil likes to lie to everybody and whatever but like sometimes I really be thinking like like is a guy really going to like take on me and my kids you know like is a guy really gonna be willing to be like yeah like I love you and your kids like you know I got you all all of you guys like you know like with his big big arms and like you know just gonna like scoop us up as a big old family and just you know like love on us the way we deserve to be loved you know what I mean and I but like but then there's this other sense of me like I'm just like no it's not real it's not gonna happen you know like really but I don't I don't want to live my life like that but then I don't know I have faith in God. I know he could do whatever, but it just, it's, it's like, (laughs) you have to trust God, like, literally with everything you got in this, in this walk, and it's not called faith for no reason, you know, it's, like, really hard, like, especially whenever you go through things and go through things and nothing gives, it's just, like, never ending, you know, like, but then you get through it, like, you know, like, then, like, when God, like, has those little flecks of, like, showing himself to you, like, here and there, and you're like, okay, God, you know, like, even though I'm going through, like, you know, the trenches, you know, you, you're here with me, and that's really all that, that's really all that matters, you know, I'm sorry for picking my teeth on the video, but, you know, that's really all that matters, and I know that he kept stressing me that, like, I... I remember living at my mom's and she would come home and she would like be raging and you know like just raging and angry about this and that and the third and and I remember like going outside on her porch while she was raging and we all had to listen to her to hear what, whatever she had to say and I go on the porch and I just asked the Lord and I was like Lord why do I gotta go through this like why and he said to know that I am with you 
And it, I was like, I mean, you know, in the in the midst of it, you're like, uh, okay, like, you know, that doesn't really, you know, that doesn't really take care of the problem, but, you know, but, you know, and like a relationship with somebody, you have to work at it, you know, and um, it's really like, I don't know, like. I don't know, and I don't even want to talk about this. I really don't want to talk about this because because I don't know, like on his end, I don't know, like you know, on his end, I don't really know like what's going on, but anyway, I don't even want to talk about it i i I ran from this situation, I left, you know, and that's another thing like that spirit of Jonah, so, like, how Jonah got scared and ran away, I don't think I was scared, like, I don't really know what it, what it is, you know, and I think it was pride, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be transparent, but I don't know, and, but, and, and I'm, like, I just keep thinking in my head, like, Cause, okay, so, like, I got five kids. My eldest is 10 years old. You know, like, my youngest is one. Like, who's going to help me? You know? And I, I'm, I'm, I mean, like, I keep running to, like, the prophetic words and all that type of stuff and whatever. But, like, in this time in my life, I'm just, like, you know, like. Like, I just want to, like, like I, I don't even want a phone. Like, that's how I remember back whenever I would get so frustrated and upset. Like, because I don't like Facebook. It's like you paint this facade of, of a life that, you know, that you're living this, whatever, whatever. But a lot of them people that live that whole glamorous, whatever, like, they're really lonely on the inside. You know, they're screaming for somebody to love them. They're screaming for, like, and just like we all are, like, everybody is, you know. But it was like, we didn't know it was Jesus. This whole the whole time, we didn't know it was Jesus. And, you know, um, now that, you know, he, like, <clears throat> cleaned me up and sat me down and, you know, like, whatever... Like, it's all good, but then, like, what am I trying to say? Holy crap, like, my whole, my whole thought process just, like, went somewhere, and I don't even know what, or what, it was, what, what is going on, jeez. Oh, but, okay, so, like, this trip, okay, so, but, like, God kept telling me, like, pay attention to your thoughts and your emotions, like, you know, and, a lot of stuff that I was feeling was like, um, a lot of stuff that I was feeling like, okay, I don't even want to speak on that though. Like, I'm not going to speak on that situation because first of all, like, okay, like, you know, if you're working for the Lord and like, you know, you're, you're, you know, helping the community, you're, like, doing out there, you're, like, in the field, you know, saving souls, doing whatever, that's good, you know, and, and congratulations, and God bless you, you know, like, whatever, but I just, like, I don't know, and I just know, like, I know what it says in the Bible, but I don't want to be religious, but I don't think you... I don't think people wanting to go based off of like Bible principles or Bible statutes. I don't think that those types of people, I don't think they're like, they're bad. Cause okay. So for me, I do want to be celibate till after I have, I have marriage because of the simple fact that like, um, like, you know, once you, once you get rid of all like the culture, like, this ain't, a like, a test drive before you buy it type of, type of whatever. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and for one, like, it will give me time to get to know somebody, to see if I can build with them, to see, you know, like, whatever. But, like, I don't know. And it just, it just makes me feel so crazy. Like, 
it just makes me feel so crazy. <sighs> like, you know, and it's so crazy because I always think like, like, there's something in me that's telling me that like, speak on this, speak on that, tell about this, tell about that. But then whenever like I get to thinking about it, I'm like, how could I even tell somebody like about this? Or, like, tell them, like, not to do this, not to do that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, when, like, I, if I have a distorted view of, like, men or women or whatever it may be. If I have a distorted view of it and you, like, say, okay, so I'm just going to use this example. So, like, I have a distorted view of men. And it came from, like, whatever my past ex-boyfriends, whatever, my, my view is distorted of men, and, but then you, like, make the choice, the man makes the choice to be, like, okay, you're just acting funny, and then, you know, like, I can't and won't, will not marry somebody that I'm gonna be, like, in a fight with 24-7, I'm not marrying to somebody to just fight with you and to whatever, and I'm not marrying somebody just so I could sleep with you all day, every day, you know, like, yeah, that is a gift from God, and yeah, like, you know, whatever, it's special gift, whatever, but for me, like, I, I rather build, you know what I mean, and yes, like, I will, I, 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 I know deep down in my heart that I am a loving wife to my husband, like, I know that, but, like, there's, there's something that, like, like, okay, loving wife, yes, okay, but there's, like, what am I trying to say here? I don't know. It, like, I have to be able to feel safe, like, with the person. And I'm not even going to, like, I don't know. I don't even want to go there. But anyway, I just want to get off that topic because I don't know. I don't know about it no more, you know. And I'm not, I'm not anti-marriage. Like, I love marriage. I think it's a beautiful thing. But I think, like, society has distorted it so much to the point where, like, we're just, like, we have, like, this distorted view of marriage. Like, oh, my gosh, my wedding. Oh, my gosh, my husband. Oh, my gosh, like, all this stuff. And that's all good. Like, that's all good. That's how I wanted to be about my husband, my marriage, my wedding, you know, like, oh, excited, all this and that. The moment you and your husband, like, that want to be in love is that you guys get attacked like a hundredfold, a hundred, like the devil just comes hard for you, you know? And, but I mean, like, just like any other thing that the devil attacks, that's good, you know, are you going to put in the work? Are you going to, and see, there I go, hypocrisy. There's that spirit of hypocrisy because I, I didn't fight for like the, the person that God was trying to put into my life. And I, like, I'm transparent, you know, I, I was wrong. Like I didn't, I didn't want it because I don't know, and I, I just wonder, like, is there somebody else out there that's going through the same thing, you know, and I mean, and I feel like, but I feel like God is giving his grace and his mercy, he's being merciful to me, I don't know why, I don't deserve it, because of the way I act, reacted, and the way I acted, I don't deserve nothing from God, you know, like, I was like, God, what, what are you doing, like, God, are you sure, like, what is this, God, you know what I mean, like, I was just, you know, I was not humble about the situation at all. And then on his end, like, I was just, I don't know. But, like, I'm saying, like, about me, like, I know how to be a loving, humble wife, you know, like, to submit to her husband. I know how to be this. You know, and, like, but you have to, and I, I don't know, like, like, does God give you grace to find that person? Or do you just have to, like, uh... Or do you just have to, like, pick who he picks, you know? Like, what if that's not the person? Like, I don't see it, you know what I mean? And I just, like, I don't know. And like I said, I love him, and, you know, I pray for him, and he's a good guy, and, like, you know, nothing wrong with him or whatever, but, you know, just, I, I, I don't, I, it wasn't a good match for me, you know? And, um... 
and there's just a bunch of underlying stuff that I've been feeling like I was just like, like, Lord, Lord. And I maybe it was the Lord telling me this. You know what I mean? Maybe it was you, Holy Spirit, that was like telling me like, you know, like this and this is going on. And, you know, don't overlook it. That's what he was saying to me. He's like, pay attention to whenever you're like, like jot down and like whenever you feel something, write it down and try to fit, try to like analyze it a little bit. You know what I mean? And anyway, so this video is 30 minutes long. And what I wanted to say is if you feel led to sow into my ministry, if you feel led by the Holy Spirit to help me, um, it would be much, much appreciated. What is going on here? Um, it would be much, much appreciated because, you know, I would like a hotel for tonight. Like, I... I haven't showered, you know, um, it's very hot in this car, um, you know, and I just, I, I feel bad, but like the Lord has been providing, but I just pray that you guys would like feel led to sow into my ministry. You know, I love the Lord, like, and he's moving, like he's moving. Like I tell you this, like if you like are not saved, get saved and go to church and get saved go to church find your church people you know um don't get church hurt on the on the way there you know just don't even pay attention just go to just go to, go to church to try to like show your worship to the lord basically that's what you got to do just show the, the lord that you worship him you know that you love him by offering that time that that church time to him but yeah, my babies are very hot. I'm hot. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. And so I just pray for you guys. I love you guys. And every donation that I receive, I will definitely um, can use it and very much appreciate it. And I know my kids will too. Um, I'm going to try to do more videos though. And maybe I'll try to update you guys more and see how that goes but anyway so i love you guys god bless you i pray that you guys are safe and i love you guys i plead the blood of jesus over you guys and over this video i pray it helps somebody and gives somebody some revelation in jesus name amen